And so one of the things, well, I did write about this in my first book, particularly about putting your life, putting your house in perfect order. It's like, well, if, you, if you're lost, one of the things you can do is look around and see what direction you could take locally, is fix something. And I used to tell my clients, this is a very good thing to know. Find something that you could do that would make things better that you would do. And there's a humility in that too, because especially if you're in a low energy state, it's like, oh my God, you know, I don't have enough energy to make dinner. It's like, do you have enough energy to put a fork on the table? And sometimes people are so depressed that that's really all they can do. It's like, can you take, the, can you take a small step forward, no matter how small that is? And so that's, I didn't, see, I knew that adrenaline was a byproduct or a, 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 a down the biochemical chain from dopamine, but I didn't get the significance of that fully. So basically what you're saying is that if you implement a micro routine, even something like washing a cup and putting it back in the shelf, and you know that's a good thing because you have a shelf and there's cups on it, you've already decided that's an appropriate way to live is to have your coffee cups on a shelf. If you go ahead with cleaning out the cup and putting it on the shelf, then you've taken steps towards a, a valuable micro goal. You get a dopamine kick from that, that transforms itself into adrenaline and energizes you. So one of the things you can do in your local environment and, and with yourself as well, is you can watch people around you and you can see when they make small steps towards manifesting some behaviors you'd like to see a lot more of. And then you can tell them in this very differentiated, discriminatory manner, you, you can say, hey, look, here's the sequence of actions you just undertook. I saw that. I noted the process, and here's the delightful outcome, good work. And man, if you do that repeatedly to people around you, and you don't want to do this in a fake or manipulative way, but if you're attentive to what people are doing that's good, and you mark that with a reward, man, you produce behavioral transformations at a rate that's just beyond belief. Small things are not small. That's right. Precisely for the reason that we just described, it's like, you might have the cognitive appraisal that doing something local, like cleaning up your room, is small. But it's not obvious at all that that's the case. It's not, it's not that trivial to put your immediate surroundings in order. And it can easily be the stepping stone to putting things in order on a broader scale. In fact, it's probably the necessary stepping stone to do that. And so, they might seem small, but they're, they're a step ahead, and ahead is a good direction. Absolutely. And so they're not as small as you might think. And so you can pat yourself on the back, especially if you're depressed a little harder than you might otherwise, by saying, you know, you say, well, this is trivial, but I did it. It's like, no. If you're moving ahead, tilting yourself forward in your, in your metaphor, that's not small. You just keep doing that, you're going to get out of this paralyzed or retreat mode. And then God only knows what you're going to be able to do.